I'll be going on a high altitude hiking trip to Peru soon and take LDN at bedtime for autoimmune. Will it conflict or have any issues if I have an altitude supplement or medication such as Diamox, acetazolamide, or the supplement I prefer has ginkgo, rosea, alpha lipoic acid, and vitamin C. Just want to make sure it's okay to take these if I need them. I will only use the supplements unless I need the Diamox. Hoping I don't need either for the altitude. Well, have a great time hiking in Peru. I am sure that is going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous trip. My understanding when we're trying to treat altitude sickness is that we actually start it before we get there. We don't wait to have altitude sickness to treat it. So I would be careful with that. As far as acetazolamide, brand name is Diamox. I don't recall that LDN is going to have any issues with that. Ginkgo, alpha lipoic acid, vitamin C, no issues with that as well. Rosia, I'm not sure if that is short for a uh, brand or what exactly that that is referring to. My understanding, even when people are skiing at high altitudes, like in Utah, a lot of times they still need something for altitude sickness. Altitude sickness is nothing to play with. It can be very, very dangerous. And especially when you already have an autoimmune disease, I would do everything to protect yourself and to really take care of yourself ahead of time because you want to enjoy this trip. Who knows if you'll ever do this again? So enjoy the time, take care of yourself. Don't mess with stopping or you know, stopping medications just because you're cautious. It's great to be cautious, but I would be more in tune with taking care of yourself in the meantime. I would pretty much assume you're going to need altitude sickness medications and your supplements as well. And from what I'm trying to pull through in my 37-year-old pharmacist brain, well, the brain has only been in pharmacy for 37 years. I don't, I don't see any issues with that. So I think you'll be fine.